Hello everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. Today I wanted to talk about calories. Now, I think it's a really interesting subject because what is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of energy which heats a certain amount of water. So the more calories something has, the more heat, the more it can heat water. Okay. Now, what are humans? Humans are 60, 70 percent water, 60 to 70 percent water, right? So if we're eating a lot of high calorie foods, this is going to raise our body temperature. Right. So I'd actually argue that calories in calories out I don't buy it. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that. Um, when you first start a raw food diet, and in particular a raw food diet, I think that counting calories is important just to make sure that you're getting enough fruit and vegetables into your body. Okay, if you're not doing that at first, you might be under eating. And that's when we run into problems on a raw food diet. But to say that you know, a thousand calories of bananas is the same thing as a thousand calories of processed potato chips or a thousand calories of McDonald's. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, these are not these are not even not even in the same ballpark, you know what I mean? Um so you want to focus on your quantity I mean quality of calories, not your quantity of calories. Okay. Now, if you're coming to a raw food diet, you don't have to limit your calories. You don't have to limit carbs. If you're on a low-fat diet, you can eat as much as you want without any weight gain, without any problems, and you'll just have more energy. You'll pee out the extra glucose. It's amazing. Okay? So, a low-fat diet is incredible. But I believe... That as a water-based species, we should have a low-calorie diet. And it's like I just said, high-calorie foods, they raise the temperature in your body. Is the body going to function optimally in a hydrated space, in a neutral space, not too hot, not too cold, or is it going to function better if it's too hot or if it's too cold. I'd say right in the middle. Now on a fruit-based diet, you get that middle ground. You can have more calorie-dense foods like bananas, avocados, dates, durian, jackfruit, stuff like that. Or you could have the juicy fruits, you know, watermelon, super low calories, passion fruit, dragon fruit, super low calories oranges. But at the same time, you can have pineapple, soursop, mangoes, which are like balanced. So they have the hydration, but they also have the calories. So I think it's really important to find a balance rather than going, oh, only calorie dense. Okay, I've just got to eat bananas all day. Calories, so important. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Okay. So um, find a balance. You don't need to go super low calorie. You don't need to go super high calorie. But if you're just eating cooked food all the time, that's why these people walk around with like 20 extra bowling balls of weight walking around with them. Their body is so hot that it can't function properly. The body is so filled with calories, you know, that it can't break down. But these are not natural calories. They can't be used for energy because they're, they're not natural foods. The body, you, the body sees it as a foreign substance. Okay.
So get the natural calories that your body can actually use and you'll notice your energy is incredible. You don't get this energy on any other diet. Fruits and vegetables are the way. Middle calories. Like you'll find, like the longer you go on the raw food diet, the more in tune you get with your body. The more you listen to your body, okay, what do you want for fuel? The more you realize this is about hydration. The more hydrated your body is, the more functional it is. The more you can, you know, do your day-to-day -day activities easily. In a tropical environment, I live here in Vietnam, you do not want to eat high calorie foods. You don't. Because it's so freaking hot. Even the people here, they don't eat a lot. <laughs> you know? They don't eat a lot at all. And they're super lean. And they're still muscular. But you don't need much. You don't need a lot of calories. Even if you're working all day, like, in the freaking, the beaming sun, you know? Here, you want to stay cool. You want to stay light. You want to stay hydrated. And that's where the fruit diet comes in. If you come to the tropics, the fruit diet makes more sense than if you were in a colder climate, for example. Now, in a cold climate, I understand why people give, get cooked food cravings. It's cold. You want to heat your body up. You want to get some calorie dense in there. It'll heat your body. But when you come here to the optimal environment for human beings where we evolved from, I don't get cooked food cravings. I don't, I don't, I don't even... Like, I don't crave dense things. I crave light, juicy. I want to stay light. I want to stay low fat. I want to stay lean. And this is our, this is our true form, I believe. We're not meant to be walking around with a bunch of extra weight. We got to be light. We got to be lean. Because it's freaking hot here in the tropics, man. And the lighter you are, the closer you get to God. And that is real. And anybody that has the same experience that's been on the raw food diet, they, they know and they can tell you and it's the testimonies. It is the best, the best, the best energy I've ever experienced, the closest to God, the most spiritual, the best mental function, the best physical function ever. A well-oiled machine. People use that phrase, a well-oiled machine. Well, what is the oil for humans? Hydration. Water, structured water. Watermelon. Perfect food. Pineapple. Soursop. All these incredible fruits that give you hydration and they give you calories. They give you the energy you need. They detoxify you. They cleanse you. Each fruit has its own benefits. Eat a wide variety of fruits so you get all the benefits. Don't just focus on one fruit because you might be missing out on some of the essential vitamins and minerals that are in spread out throughout the plant kingdom. So it's really a beautiful thing. Utilize the fruits and the herbs and your body will function properly. If you stick to it, don't go back to the cooked foods, dead, denatured, processed foods. These are not going to get you where you want to be. You want your body to function at a high level. You don't want to just be walking around zombie and your spine's degenerating because of all this starch and the dehydration. You want to be, you want to be like, just lit up electric. We're beings of electricity. These foods, these cooked foods, as soon as you cook a food, you lose all the electricity in it, or most of it if you're steaming it. Like, you could, you could steam some vegetables if you want. You'd still have a little bit of electricity, a little bit of the bio photon availability, but it's not going to be as much. It's gonna, not going to be ideal. So get on the fruits. Try it. Try it for a few days. Just go on only fruits and tell me how you feel. Because after seven days, I was hooked. 
You don't want to, like anything else, nothing compares. It's such a beautiful feeling. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my little video for today. Like, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Um, I'll have a few more interviews. I'm going to be on Paul Neeson's uh, channel here on Saturday. Paul Neeson's going to interview me on his channel. He has, um, I believe it's called the Raw, the Raw Food Health Show or the Raw Life Health Show. Oh, I forgot the name. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing an interview over there. And I got another interview coming up next week. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys so much um, for all the support. And, uh, yeah, that's my little talk about calories. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you count calories? Do you not count calories? I, I don't believe in the calories in, calories out theory. Um, you know, because people are like, oh, don't eat watermelon. Don't eat rambutans. Don't eat lychee. It's too low in calories. You're not going to get enough energy. No way, man. Get crazy energy off these foods. Crazy energy. It's about hydration. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.